Now we'll start with news just in. Another police dragging case has emerged, a vehicle dragging case, this time in the northwest province. We understand that a police officer has been arrested for allegedly assaulting a man in a village near Mahikeng and dragging him next to a police van. Moses Lamini speaks for the Independent Police Investigative Directorate. He's on the line. Mr. Lamini, good evening to you. The second incident in a matter of weeks. What further details can you furnish us with? Good evening, uh, Jeremy. Um, well, as you know, we have arrested this policeman. He's appearing in court uh, tomorrow uh, at the Mahi King Magistrate's Court. We are uh, charging him with uh, assault, GBH, um, but the charges will be finalized uh, as the investigation goes on. Uh, we, well, what we've picked up is that uh, he basically threatened this uh, uh, the victim to say that uh, do, do you know uh, or don't you know what what police are capable of these days um referring to the media masia uh, incident and uh, he dragged the victim so so what you're saying to us uh, mr lamini lamini is that he referred to the marcia case in his verbal interaction with this person yeah, that's that's the report that we have uh, from the victim, and uh, we were still investigating. But we we based on the investigation and uh, you know confirmation of injuries that we got through a medical examination, we then made a decision to to arrest the suspect immediately. Is it a single policeman involved, to the best of your knowledge, or could others be involved as well? Uh, well, the, the reports uh, indicate that there were two policemen at, at the scene. Uh, obviously, the investigation is still uh, going on. We'll uh, make a decision with the, 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 the prosecutors uh, whether this, uh, uh, the other policeman should be arrested as well. Is that other policeman still on duty, to the best of your knowledge? Yes, yes. Uh, still on duty. But we will be making recommendations uh, for action to be taken uh, against the policemen in the form of suspension and, and disciplinary action. Are senior officers from that police station cooperating and have you been in touch with the station commander? Yeah, so far we've, we've got uh, cooperation um, and we, we, we can't really complain about that. How were you notified about this incident? When, would, when did you learn about it? I understand it happened last week. Yeah, we became aware of it after it was reported to the police. In terms of the IP Act, the police must then report it to the IPID, uh, which is when we became aware of it and then took over the investigation. I understand the victim himself, after being dragged for a hundred meters or so, was left badly injured. Are you able to tell us about his condition and also whether you've had an opportunity to interview him? Yes, we've had an opportunity to interview him. He sustained some uh, injuries. Uh, the reports are that he couldn't even walk for, for a number of days. However, he, he has uh, recovered uh, and then now he's, he's out of hospital. Um, well, he will have to consult the uh, you know, doctors uh, again to see if there's no permanent uh, damage or more injuries. And uh, finally, Mr. Delamini, this uh, report tonight comes on the same day that the uh, police minister in Davyton warning officers about uh, brutality in the force and uh, describing the Moses Marcia incident as a tragedy. This is all very unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, uh, we were hoping that this, met, this incident, you know, st uh, stop and, and don't happen again, but I think they can only stop uh, if... Uh, the effort within the police is, is serious to deal with them, but also that there are prosecutions and, and uh, you know punishment being meted out by the courts to 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 ensure that these uh, things don't happen. Thank you very much uh, for joining us, uh, Moses Lamini on the line. He's from the uh, police watchdog, the IPID.